Equipped with XNGP, Tspeng's full scenario Odyssey solution and X power, Tspeng's 800 volts powertrain and 800 volts high voltage SIC platform, advanced front and rear integrated aluminium body casting and body integration technology with SIG battery. This new model is the industry's most represents the next generation of smart EVs that meet the basic needs of customers with their advanced technologies. Developed in consultation with sci-fi writer Lou Kixin, the G6's body design features sleek lines inspired by technological fluid aesthetics. Additionally, the G6's hanging roof design offers ample headroom and room area seats, along with a long 2,890mm wheelbase and 60.8% wheelbase. This design perfectly balances the sleek fastback style of the coupe with the consumer demand for a spacious cabin, providing plenty of comfort and space. While no copycat, the G6 takes a very similar approach to the Model Y when it comes to design. Both are taller crossovers optimized for interior space rather than true SUVs. At first glance, it may seem that the car has a classic teardrop shape, but the appearance is fascinating, the black painted stripes on the rear roof line make it look like the G6 has a sharper eight roof line than it actually is. This effect is partially eliminated by the upper spoiler. Along with 20-inch wheels, there's a performance package, $1,250, that adds a power folding lower spoiler, a first on the spank. The rear end is actually quite prominent and all models would be better off with a permanently positioned spoiler to break up the rear end. Despite its large appearance, the G6 for EV weighs between 1,995 and 2,100 kg. This is partly due to the SEPA 2.0 platform and some new technologies being used. Peng claims the G6 is the first Chinese car to benefit from front and rear aluminium die-cast units, and there's also cell-to-body integration, which means the battery pack is more durable. The Performance Max G6 dual motor version has an acceleration time of 3.9 seconds and the steering wheel is reasonably sized. As usual, the suspension is designed more for comfort than dynamics, but Speng claims that the Moose test was achieved at 82 km per hour, and certainly the G6 responds on the track. However, the dual motor setup is only available on the top version of the series version, with all other versions powered by a single rear wheel motor. Cheaper lithium-ion phosphate battery versions accelerate from 0 to 100 in 6.6 seconds and cover a range of 580 km. With a liquid-cooled triple lithium battery, acceleration is increased to 5.9 seconds and the car covers a distance of 755 km, the distance decreases to 700 km in the two-motor version. Another key selling point for the Spen G6 is the 800 volts architecture provided by the SEPA 2.0 platform. Where it really matters is the time it takes to charge. Using Spen's own 3C chargers, up to 300 km of range can be added in 10 minutes. It is worth noting that the car is very efficient, which is partly due to aerodynamic optimization, but also the efforts to reduce weight and the advantages brought by the 800 volts architecture. The range of the single motor, 87.5 kWh NCM battery version is 755 km according to China's CLTC standard, which is a very impressive figure. The body design of the G6 has a dynamic golden ratio with a low, 540mm berry center and a 50-50 front to rear weight ratio. Its front and rear integrated aluminium die casting and SIP battery body integration technology also produce body stiffness of up to 41600nm, 83% higher stiffness than conventional designs, helping the G6 provide better handling. The highly integrated 800 volts X power 3 in 1 powertrain system creates an excellent driving experience, including acceleration from 0 to 100 km per hour in just 3.9 seconds. The G6 is also equipped with 13 comprehensive, active safety systems that are among the best in the G6 class. By integrating radar and camera detection into the entire vehicle, G6's safety systems can comprehensively assess risks in front, behind and on both sides of the vehicle, and provide timely warning or active intervention. 
G6 is more intuitive, like GPT, Intelligent Human Machine Interaction. Equipped with Qualcomm Snapdragon SA 8155P chipset and Xmart S 4.0, an upgraded intelligent in-car operating system equipped with a 14.96-inch touchscreen for experience. The G6's smart cabin features Zbeng's fully scripted voice assistant 2.0, which provides real-time continuous voice command recognition, multi-zone dialogues, and voice assistant enabling offline interaction. The Zbeng G6 is equipped with the industry's only mass-produced full scenario Odyssey. Advanced Driver Assistance System XNGP, powered by China's first BEV Plus transformer-based deep visual neural network XNet. The G6 has 31 smart sensors, including two LiDARs, and up to 508 tops of total computing power from dual NVIDIA Drive or Inex chips. These advanced features will allow the car to visualize real-time panoramic road conditions and handle multiple driving scenarios, from starting the car to parking at a destination, regardless of the availability of high-definition HD map coverage. With XNGP, Zpeng has achieved the ultimate form of Odys before fully autonomous driving is implemented. The panoramic roof gives the car airiness. Rear seat occupants get a manually adjustable rake. There's plenty of headroom and good legroom too. A folding armrest gives two drink holders and there are two Type-C chargers behind the center console. Our test car's boot didn't have a parcel shelf, but it did have a power lift gate and there's a 12 volts power socket in the rear. Above the center console are dual wireless phone charging pads, dual cup holders and a cubby hole. Beneath the floating console are USB Type-A and Type-C chargers. The passenger compartment does not get an open glove box. The G6 gets Zbeng's latest XSmart 4.0 operating system, which includes the latest version of the company's Xiaopi Digital Assistant. It has an industry-leading ability to recognize and respond to voice commands, 